How's it going guys? Sherlock here. Welcome back to another Roblox video. So as you guys know, recently Roblox brought back limited items. Every week it seems random on sale or off sale stuff is going limited. It's honestly pretty cool to wait and see what forgotten accessory Roblox will make limited next. But anyway, ever since limiteds came back a couple of weeks ago, some players started thinking, what else is Roblox going to bring back? Possibly sales, classic style events which aren't adverts. But one of the things people would really like to see return is gift gift boxes and accessories hatching. It's basically the same thing, I guess. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be taking a look at some accessories that Roblox could potentially make hatch or open in the near future. So just for a quick example, guys, I will show you some of the previous gears and hats which did open and hatch. Right here is the first one I want to show you guys, the opened retro egg basket of iHaz. This is actually pretty cool and it's a Roblox gear. Yes, like I was saying, it's not only Roblox Roblox hats and accessories that open into stuff. Roblox gears also used to hatch, or as they call it, open. So this retro egg basket gear thing opened into the agonizingly blue bucket of doom. And wow, this accessory is really cool. Obviously, it's a hat accessory. I really like this. I don't know how much that egg basket was. I put the price on screen. I'm guessing it was pretty expensive. These basket gears sometimes opened into really cool things. Next up, guys, a present gift box. I'm sure we all know about these by now. Roblox did Halloween ones, Christmas ones, Valentine's Day ones, St. Patrick's Day ones, other random stuff as well, I'm pretty sure. This is one of the OG original ones though, the Glittering Gold Gift of Fame, which has been opened of course. And yep, this one opened into the Sparkle Time Fedora. Whoever got this accessory back in, what was it, like 2007 or something? Damn, they got a really rare item. Now the next type of accessory that hatches or opens into something are actually egg hunt eggs. Yeah, if you guys didn't know this, back in like 20 2013, maybe a little bit older as well. Some Roblox egg accessories that you could get for free from the egg hunts would actually open into accessories. They could hatch into gears, hats, other random stuff as well. Just like this one right here for an example, the Egg of Duty, clearly based off Call of Duty, right? Well, this egg is actually really cool and I did get this back in 2013 from the 2013 egg hunt. However, guys, this one did hatch and when it hatched, it turned into this. The Bad Blocks Hatchling hatched egg of duty. Now yeah, I guess this is pretty cool. It's like a chick kind of like gear accessory which your avatar holds in its hand. But the only problem with this guys is that the original egg of duty hat got replaced. So yeah, the egg is no longer on the website. I guess you could say Roblox deleted it. But pretty much what happened is it hatched into this. So that's probably why not many of the 2013 egg hunt eggs remain on the website. But yeah, there you go. That's what happened. And the last time that we saw Roblox accessories open was in fact last year on the Roblox Metaverse Champions event. I'm sure you guys probably remember this, but you know we could get these cases, so like chests, cases, boxes, and yeah, basically these opened into accessories. So like the one in this video, Phase Terror Case number two. This one opened into Phase Siphon Sword, and yeah, even said it came from Phase Terror Case number two in the description. And just like the 2013 eggs, we did not get the chance to keep the original box, which is kind of sad, but we did get a pretty cool accessory. So I guess that kind of made up for it. It would have been nice to keep both of the prizes though. And Roblox did actually start to do this with other gift boxes as well. And I did actually make a video about this last year. Look at this one guys, the mysterious purple box. This opened into the rubber ducky. That's kind of sad though. So many cool gift boxes got deleted. Yeah, all of these ones from 2016 got removed as well. And also these gift boxes which contained the shades. I'm pretty sure when I clicked on them, they opened like this. Anyway guys, that's enough about the history of Roblox gift boxes. Now let's check out some stuff that Roblox could potentially open or hatch in the future. So we are starting off with this accessory. It's called the Eccentric Time Capsule. And this was a free egg hat that you could get from the Roblox Egg Hunt 2020. So what was that like two years ago now? And yeah, to be fair, this accessory is kind of cool. It's like a time kind of like clock thing with a sand timer in the middle. It's got chains all the way around it. The accessory is a little bit broken when you wear it on your avatar's head. As you guys can see, yeah, it doesn't really fit my avatar's head correctly. But the thing is, guys, this egg is going to open in 14 years. Yeah, I know, 14 years. It sounds kind of insane. But look at the item's description. It says here, this egg can only hatch on April the 13th, 2036. That's a very long time away. So if this is true and Roblox is actually still going in 14 years time and this thing actually opens, this better unbox into like a Dominus or something like that. I know some of you guys are thinking, 
saying this is probably never going to open. But the thing is, Roblox did promise in the items description, yeah, this better open up into the Roblox Easter egg Dominus. Otherwise, everyone is going to be disappointed. To be fair, we probably would have quit Roblox by then anyway. Next up, guys, another accessory that could hatch or open is the classic egg basket. This was available during the Roblox 2012 egg hunts. I believe it used to cost Robux. Then a few years later, Roblox gave this away as like a Builders Club exclusive. I know it's kind of strange and it didn't really make much sense. I remember, guys, when I first got Builders Club, I got this for free and I was super confused. I was like, why have I just got some random Easter gear accessory in my inventory, which is off sale? And yeah, then I realized, of course, it comes with Builders Club. It's not available anymore, but just like the retro basket of iHaz, this one is pretty similar. So I think it would be nice if Roblox made this one open as well. I honestly don't think they would, but considering Limiteds also came back recently, who knows, guys, if Roblox opens this, that would be incredible. And the next one, guys, is a little bit more weird, but this one is called the Hatchling Dragon Backpack. Now, for some reason, guys, back in 2020, a few people thought this was going to hatch into a full dragon, and I can kind of see why they thought that. I mean, it is literally like an egg with a dragon hatching out of it. So what was this from? It was a Roblox gift card item. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe Roblox wouldn't hatch this one then. I can see how it's literally hatching, though. It would be cool if Roblox opens this, but to be honest, I doubt it. I think the other two are much more likely to open. Up next, guys, we have this, the Dark Alien Hatchling. Now, again, people thought this was going to open, but the thing is, guys, this one is already a limited U. Yeah, it's a gear as well. It's not a hat, and it's like 7.5k, pretty expensive. I honestly think limited gears are kind of dying. I don't think many people buy this, to be honest. But yeah, again, just like the Dragon Egg, people also thought this one was going to hatch, but they thought it would hatch into like an alien looking creature. I'm not sure if Roblox scrapped this one, or they just gave up on it, or maybe they intended it to never hatch in the first place. Oh, I just realized why people thought this egg was hatching, because look at the item's description. When you see this egg, you better run. As soon as the alien hatches, it's too late. So yeah, there you go. That's why people thought it was hatching, because the description literally states that a little alien was going to hatch out or something. But yeah, I guess this one is not going to hatch anytime soon. Oh no, then we have this one, guys. The coffin weight label pin. Now, honestly, guys, I got trolled by this back in 2019. Yeah, I got trolled really, really bad because I made a video saying this thing was going to open on Halloween. I mean, look at the coffin. It literally has a note on it which says open on October 31st. So yeah, we all thought this was going to open. The description also said the suspense is killing me. And guess what, guys? It never opened. I'm really not too sure why, but if Roblox is bringing back limiteds, then maybe they can open this pin badge. It could have opened into like a vampire voodoo doll or a mini bat or something like that. That's what it looks like over on your avatar. So yeah, to be fair, this coffin is miniature, but still, I think Roblox should have opened it because it literally did say it was going to open at one point. And the final accessory, guys, which could potentially open in the future because right now it's definitely not going to simply because there isn't like an ability for it to open, but it's UGC gift boxes. I'm using this one for an example, the lovely Valentine's gift. Only 70 Robux. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. But what I think Roblox might do in the future, guys, is maybe enable UGC people to actually allow their items to open and unbox. I honestly think that would be really cool. And seeing as Roblox want people to like shape the game and everything, I mean, yeah, that would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? There is actually so many UGC gift boxes right now. So yeah, I think it would be amazing if Roblox let UGC creators actually make prizes for these to unbox into. Hopefully that might be able to come in the future. But anyway, there we have it, guys. I guess that's pretty much it for this video about Roblox stuff, which might open, hatch and unbox in the future. So if you guys enjoyed it or found this video interesting, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.